Time to tune into the show. We got all you need to know. Precious and Camille, they about to go in on these hoes, on these hoes, on these hoes, on these hoes. Ain't got no chill. You know we gon' keep it real. On these hoes. Like I ain't danced to that in so long. I know. He almost started that yeah. all over my ass. Yo, run it now. Don't run it back. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm Precious. I'm Kamara White. And welcome to another episode of On, on These, these Hoes. I was going to say, wait, are we doing ODH or On These Hoes or what? It don't matter. Well, we fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's Next okay. time, we're definitely yeah, going to say ODH. You know what I'm saying? But um, same thing. Y'all see? We got a new studio. Yeah. Well, nigga, they moving us around like we keep getting evicted. They moving us around like a single mama in this motherfucking life. <laughs> single mama, yeah. No family, no support. <laughs> no. Nah. You got a single mama. You go to three different elementary schools. No. Nah. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> but right. no, you see how crispy we sounded and looking on this bitch. So I like the purple. You know what I'm saying? Purple, purple. means royalty. Okay. Yeah, purple is a sign of royalty. Okay, well, shout out to the mm-hmm. royalty. Mm-hmm. And also, shout out to um, Blue Chew, <laughs> one of our sponsors of today's show. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Now, y'all say it with me. Blue Chew. Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer-lasting erections. Yes, you heard me, ladies. Erections, okay? Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. It ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. That's the best part. It's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. So if you could benefit from extra confidence in the bedroom when it's time to perform, please visit BlueChew.com for more details and safety information. And I don't know about y'all, but you know what I'm saying? I just be feeling like, you know... We just got out of this shit, so we always looking at a screen doing something. Y'all looking at a screen watching us? Well, yeah. y'all might be listening. <laughs> but, you know, we just got to tune out the world sometimes. Sometimes you just got to tune everything out. And when I want to do that, guess what I use? <laughs> My Raycon wireless earbuds. <laughs> I am dead right now. <laughs> Hilarious. For real, when you're catching up on your favorite podcast, listening to an audio book, doing your little workout, you know, and you need, or you got your little pumped up playlist, all you really want to do is have your Raycons in your ears because they can make all the difference. Yep, no stems, no wires, none of that, y'all. Just sitting right in there chilling. And they perform anywhere, anytime. Sweat proof, waterproof. Because you know you be sweating a lot. Don't take much. <laughs> So anyway, the best part, they make great sound accessible to everybody, and it's starting at half the price of other premium brands on these hoes. On these hoes. All right. So right now, you know, because you listen to us and watch us, y'all get 15% off. Yep. Whatever you order, and they got great prices. I told y'all, it's already better than the other premium brands. And they're cute. Ain't they real cute? Yeah, they fit right in your ear. They got different colors. And even if nobody calling you, you could tune the kids out. (laughs) That's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, you always look like you busy if you got something in your ear. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You just look busy. So right now, all y'all have to do is go to buyraycon.com slash O-D-H. That's B-U-Y-R-A-Y. C O N dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play fuck y'all. I was like, slash O D H. You know what I'm saying? Again, y'all, that's 15% off your entire order. So go to buyraycon.com slash O D H to get 15% off your order. And remember, when you support our sponsors, you also are supporting who? This podcast. Yep. On these hoes. Yeah, so we are happy to be back, y'all. I know we talk shit, but we really are happy to be back in the studio. Um, you know. 
we'll be coming in every week, so that makes us feel better, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. I know y'all don't give a damn. Y'all just like, what y'all talking about this week? So what are we talking about? We're going to start getting into our lives. See, y'all don't know. We was working hard for y'all. Y'all don't know. <laughs> Kamira, tell them about no, the slave days. <laughs> we, made, we made it look good. Like, you know, we were living in different places. You know, I was in Alabama. Cynthia was in Texas. You you was in L.A. We had to come together and make it happen. My, You know, I was taking care of my dad. So we would do, like, Ten, like six episodes in one day and try to act like they was just that's why sometimes you see me drunk that was probably like the fourth episode of the day when I was like blah 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 and another thing yeah. fuck that shit that was because yeah no for real that was around us. four o'clock <laughs> for real <laughs> she's stupid no for real no, sometimes so, we would we would yeah. sitting up all and day we, we, we flew in just for y'all we yeah. flew in for y'all, like, so we spent a lot of money just yes. for y'all. And I feel like, you know, we got an address for y'all to send us gifts and thank you cards because um, <laughs> I feel like a, 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 none of y'all that sent me enough gifts for my birthday, and I'm petty. And, you yeah, know, we no, work because, hard for y'all, no, and I want some cards and gifts, damn Yes, it. y'all, send Kamira in some stuff. DM us 40. or God email us at onthesehoes at gmail.com, you know what I'm saying, and we will let you know where to send. These hoes, whatever you would shit. like to see. Nah, she she is just talking shit, but she mean the shit. Her birthday was last week. We just started coming to the studio right. today. So, yeah. you know, y'all just missed her birthday. So, belated gifts are welcome. So, now we we back living in the same place. Yeah, we doing our you thing. Know, you know till, what I'm saying? You know, um, till we switch it up again because we crazy. Right. So, we might switch it up. We're going to, you know, try to figure some shit out. Anyway, look, <laughs> you know we can't smoke in here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But I was trying to think. It got to be a better way. Mm -mm, <laughs> a better mm -mm. way. A I told her we way. can make it. It ain't that serious. We can make it. And you know if Kamira said that, that's all right. Because she don't play. This girl smoke like people smoke cigarettes. You know I what I'm saying? I day. do. But I was like, it's still a better way. So guess what I found? Damn. A pen. Mm. We just know how to be. We just we love figuring out a way to be defiant. Right? This is what, like, we're going to get called in the principal's office. This is. <laughs> We always get caught in the principal's office. I don't even know how to work the band. I don't even got y'all. So I damn bad. Toy. Look, on the commercial, I'll figure it out. Um, uh, <laughs> got no on commercial. the commercial, <laughs> trying to sneak and smoke something. Look at that. Mm, mm, oh, mm. Where I thought this for? I light up when you hit it. Oh, maybe that. Look at this. Damn. That might be the wrong way. Look, we need help. <laughs> I don't know. Our name is On These Hoes, and we... <laughs> <laughs> these hoes. <laughs> Damn, okay, no, no. I don't know, but I'm going to figure it out, y'all, because you know where there's a wheel? <laughs> it's more than one way to what? Shit. Skinner. <laughs> okay, what's been going on with you? We recapping our oh lives. Oh, my God. You just had a birthday last week. You told them. Yes, em. Okay, yes. so what happened? What gifts you give? Did you get some dick? Um, I didn't want. No, I didn't get no dick. I didn't get no dick. Um, Damn, wonder but I am. Like. I'm dating a lot of niggas because Good. I'm Good. 40 and I don't care. Um, I hope y'all all watching. How y'all doing? May the best man win. <laughs> oh, on these um, hoes. On these hoes. Like I don't care. Uh, I feel like I was telling precious. I feel like I'm big homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't come up talking shit to me. You might just slap. I don't gotta listen to bullshit no more. I'm 40. <laughs> you know, I don't gotta do shit no more. My, I'm, I'm good. So, baby, dang. out the house. Baby. I don't I, even got to come home. Like, right now, I can spend the night in the studio like a hoe. I can just spend the <laughs> night in the studio right now. Just, <laughs> yeah, and nobody's on your way. I can bring niggas home. Just huh. so, so, good. you used to just date one dude at a time? I mean, yeah, because, you know, I, you know, because I date a lot of, you know, I date hood niggas, so I don't ever want to get in trouble. Right. <laughs> I date niggas that carry good shooters and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm trying to grow up. Hey. But, you know, I don't date no punk niggas. I can't just be sitting out somewhere eating. Soldiers. And they walk up. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> it's going to be whoever one ain't the hardest. Oh, shit. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary, bitch. <laughs> okay, okay. No, but I'm getting better, though. Yeah, but since you turn 40, that's when you're like, fuck it, I'm dating all these niggas. I'm going to figure out which one I like. I'm going to do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. On these hoes. On these hoes. But um, um, Precious um, and them surprised me with a, 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 a birthday lunch. My uh, mom had found their number somewhere, I don't know, and called everybody. Her mom and best friend, and yeah, they said it I love. That was real nice. And it was so bad because me and my mom argue all the time. So I was late, right? So she like, I told you what time the restaurant start. Why are you so late? I said, why are you hollering at me on my birthday? <laughs> I was like, look, lady. 
I was about I'm to coming. literally like, get coming. lit with her. Like, so what if we're late? It's just me and you. So what? Is the gumbo going anywhere? Is the bread? She's talking about what a restaurant yeah. closed at 245. Then she lying, all right? Yeah. I said, what the fuck kind of restaurant closed at 245? <laughs> like, this is a senior city. Where the fuck you taking me, bitch? Are they going to have diabetic lemonade? Where the fuck are we going to a cafeteria? What the fuck closed at 245? I was so mad. Like... What like what could it be? Only Gwen. Oh. She's, no, she was sweet. She figured oh it God. out. <laughs> and even me and Teddy rode together. And then my dumb ass done parked right in the front. Here go Camira parking right in front of us. Teddy trying to let his seat back so she don't see us. We trying to. Oh my, my God. <laughs> my mama was talking so much I couldn't see. She's my hurry up. Come on, what you gonna do? Fix your makeup. Good. I'm glad because we were sitting there like they can see us. We sitting there trying to play invisible, nigga. <laughs> well, she know how to aggravate me real good because I look. I was finna say. I don't want to go eat with you. It's my birthday. <laughs> I was about uh, to say, I was five minutes from saying, you know, I ain't hungry. Because <laughs> you, be you better yeah, be real yeah, ignorant for like, no reason. But no, but it was real nice, y'all. Camille got a lot of people that love her. We had a big table like the Lord's Supper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Last Supper. What yeah, the last, yeah. <laughs> the last. <laughs> y'all know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Look. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I cried in the car. I didn't cry while they was there, but when I got in the car, I cried. Because oh. I'm a little punk. It was so sweet, y'all. She got the cutest cake with a mic. You know what I'm saying? And the little mm -hmm. shit. It was flowers. The food was good, y'all. It was a, it was a nice little restaurant too because you know it's a nice restaurant when you don't get more than one side. <laughs> That's a nice restaurant for your ass. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like... And that's another thing. She And I had never been there. You so that's another thing I was mad at. I'm like, she rushing me to go to a restaurant I ain't even pick. It's my birthday. Like, yeah, what if yeah. I don't like it? I'm just being hella bitchy. And then I was talking shit about y'all, too. <laughs> no, for real, because I didn't know y'all was throwing me no surprise party. So I got a homegirl out of town named Nadra. She live all the way in Florida. Her gift arrived at 10.30 a.m. <laughs> so I said, this bitch is on point, and these hoes down the street ain't this shit all day. <laughs> and this bitch done got some shit through the mail on time. See? I was like, Nadra, you know what? <laughs> She Fuck like, these she hoes. like, these people ain't shit. Like, Fuck yeah, for real. And then, look, it was a whole dinner plan. I didn't even know. Mm. I, I ain't shit. I ain't shit. She was sitting at the front of the table like the queen. Nigga, she was up there having a good time. I was scared about turning 40, though. You were? Yeah, I don't, because I, I felt like I was like, okay, now I'm official. I'm old. But then when really? I thought about it, I was like, but my pussy only like 27. <laughs> On these hoes. On these hoes, because you don't use it right away. So you your pussy not 40, ladies. Even though right. you turn 40, your pussy yeah. probably only about 25. It depends on when you start fucking Fuck, around yeah, with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I waited late. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know. No. I'm, I'm just going to start from Kayla. My pussy's 20 then. years old. <laughs> <laughs> Not That's to when mention, I really put a dent in it. Not to mention you, you know? lost two years in the pandemic. You really supposed yeah. to be chilling. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, you really supposed to be like 38. I did you know lose what I'm saying? the last two we years of my 30s. We losing the girls because of that shit. You just have to sit around and eat and just, you know, do right. dumb shit. I sleep. was just sitting around eating. Yeah, it's me too, dog. And I'm like, you look up and it's like, wait a minute. You could order everything now. You wake up like, can I see myself aging? No, Bitch. for real. You can order everything <laughs> now. They even doing doctor visits online. Yeah. Like you don't have to leave the house. Like if dick, if uh, the only thing that's next mm -hmm. is dick and pussy, and it's over. Yeah. Like just or well, you can order that too, can't you? <laughs> well, I mean, you got well, a reliable got source. I'm just <laughs> saying, like you who, got I a mean, plug, bitch. <laughs> I, I know some niggas that need to do that. Huh. They don't know how to do nothing else. You might as well get paid. There's some older women that probably need that dust nut though. Not for real. Mm hmm. Shit. I remember when my, my stepdaddy passed away, my mama was sad that he was gone. And she was like, what I'm going to do now? Yeah, I was like, you dickless, huh, mama? That's Because they not going to go find them. Where my mama going to go? To the post and get up? Come on. Shit, young bitches need that um, dick, that pussy wiped. <laughs> it's easier fuck? to find them when you're young. Dick pussy wiped off. <laughs> wiped off. <laughs> The point is, she, you know. Do you know old people do it in the um the rest homes? I mean the um old people homes. The old people homes, yeah. And if you see them doing it, you are supposed to just not stop them. You supposed to close the door and give them their privacy. I know that's right. See, respect it, yeah. y'all. That's what we be trying to tell people. Because it's not jail. They live there, even though it's a facility. They live there because they need help, but it's still their their home. So if you go in there to bathe them and you know, miss oh, it, you know, they getting some hair, you gotta be like sorry and back up out of there. <laughs> 
that's hilarious. Mm-hmm. I want to do old people porn, turn people on. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I do wonder that because you know young people porn. You know what? That's I funny. ain't grown people porn, turn young. You know what? I probably take it too far. <laughs> no, but if I was an old bitch, like because I'm a fat bitch, so if a nigga want to watch porn, it better be fat people. We not about to, you not about to no, watch a bitch man. that don't look like me on the porn, nigga. That, <laughs> how's that turning you on? You like me, right? That turn the fat bitch on. Like, you not about to just See, look, have no perfect body bitch on the porn and I got to sit through this. No. Look, yeah. Okay. So, so before, if I was an old bitch, I want to. Before I got the pen, I got I got another one, too. But I'm saying before I got it, I went to the C, uh, it was the CBD store. But I had been there before because they said it was a little weed in the thing I had got. But then I went, she was like, it really wasn't. So I went to a different store. But while I was there, I saw this little thing, and I'm like, "This is what is that?" It's like, "Save a life, it's a lifesaver." Mm. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> then you crack that bitch over it. <laughs> what is it, y'all? Tell this me. Bitch, Guess. Oh, I got a novelty. Guess a bullet. <laughs> oh, for your shit. This oh is- <laughs> shit! That I mean, that is a lifesaver. <laughs> is this not the fun? the only reason I got? Because I'm like, "What is this?" You know what I'm saying? She, y'all don't know, and the woman just thought she was so nice. Like, I'm not lying. I have it myself, and it's really... I'm like, girl! girl don't, <laughs> please. She's talking about you just put a battery in it. Duh. <laughs> no, nah, this right here. <laughs> Let me tell you. Do you know why that's called a lifesaver? That's for if, if you don't get your issue with this the This is nigga. a finger. Yeah. <laughs> it only saved your life after you sexually frustrated. This is a grown man finger. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. But it was, just the, it was just the presentation and the whole little thing that just got me like, I got, <laughs> I got this Mm-mm. for y'all, y'all, because it's a lifesaver. Imagine Mm-mm. that. That's a tampon. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> On these hoes. But you know what I'm saying? Different, you know. It do look hella basic. Don't it? They, how much they selling that shit for? $20? That shit costs 10 bitch, cent in China. This bitch could be on prices right. 10 cent in China. That's the, that's, such, that's the most basic. That's the, you put that's damn, the bullets they had eight. in our mama time. I bet you if we sent that to my mama, she'd be like, that's they that bullet. bullets? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Girl, shit. they didn't even have the right dish. They had the big thing that looked like a whooping cushion, didn't they? <laughs> Oh my God! That did no. Wait, it's talking about it's the water bottle. Yeah, hey, what is this? Like, right. you know, let me stop. Why but, did they need so much? What's wrong with y'all shit? Why y'all need so much cleansing? It was like a whole bath in the pussy, just a whole big ass. What is this? Orange bottle full of just. I don't know what's crazy. going on. It like, but I know don't send us y'all dick pics like this, okay? If you do want to submit them on these hoes at gmail dot com, but don't do this to yourself. If, look, if your you dick t- that small, we're gonna give you a free t shirt because we feel like. <laughs> you turn to the side, look like a butter knife. <laughs> and bitch, your tampon. I think, I think <laughs> you gotta get creative. If your dick that small, you gotta get creative. You gotta put that finger. shit. Middle fingers. You up gotta figure it out. Haters. Bitch. Uh. Fuck you. Uh. Mm-mm. Fuck you. Uh. Okay, Mm-mm. no, okay. Let's move on. I don't know. Um. <laughs> you gotta wrap a chain around that motherfucker or something. Yeah, I I have a horrible confession. Oh my God! Hey, y'all go you ahead. worse than me. Um, I was at Arby's yesterday in the draft. I was talking to my mama. She told me, "Why are you at Arby's? I never took you out of Arby's. Arby's, what is? I was like, I know, I don't know. My grandma took me out in Arkansas. <laughs> so sometimes yeah, I'm not I still an Arby's go to person Arby's. either. I know people don't like it; they hate it. But that super roast beef good. I don't give a damn. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! I said, I don't care, y'all. That's super. And come, we're like, okay, I'm done. But everybody be talking about, even Dina one day was going in on Arby's, and I was just sitting there, she's like, you eat Arby's? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the, roast beef, cold roast beef is like. It's not cold. That's for the, that's for the, the other people. Oh, my God. I oh, like it, y'all. Roast beef is dry as fuck. Not all love. That's the thing. Some turkey dry as fuck and some juicy. You know what I'm saying? And right. You got to get it right. Well, I don't get a, a real turkey sandwich. Like, I'm talking about get it With right. Real the turkey. Then <laughs> you get that honey turkey. <laughs> yeah, honey turkey is the shit. Honey turkey. <laughs> Shit. They don't even have it, do they? Oh, honey, hang on. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, what is we tripping? Oh, my God. Um, I thought you was going to talk about uh, uh, your dating life. Uh, you don't want to talk about it? Always some bullshit, man. I be really, uh, man. 
I'm told I be really out here. I don't be really out here. So then when I do try, I be thinking it's going to be something. Oh, I figured it out, bitch. It was this little thing, the little stopper in it. Oh, we out oh you. God. Oh, my God. It's going to evaporate. Oh, these dogs hopefully won't get kicked out. Y'all don't tell nobody we won't. Okay. She, well, she, we, she want to get kicked out. They said no smoking. She brought a pen. This is what we saying. It evaporates. It's not like smoking. It, it evaporates. Smoking. You sound like a nigga that smoke weed. <laughs> like, it don't smell. That shit. <laughs> Hell no, I'm going to stink up your car. No, it ain't. Mm -mm. I got this spray. You spray it one time. <laughs> you hit that weed shit. Weed people always think you can't smell the weed. <laughs> then here comes somebody. Is, what y'all smoking in here? <laughs> shit be in my purse. Motherfuckers be smelling it. I got that ooh weed. Oh, this weed. Uh-uh, it's a spray. You hit that bitch one time. I need out. to grow up everywhere I go. As soon as I open up, up my purse to get some money out, we. I mean, I'm too, I'm grown. It don't matter where I'm at. I mean, I could be tied, and the shit is just like tied? no, for real. I remember I be at my baby school finna pay tuition. This bitch, <laughs> like, oh shit, they knew I smoked weed. <laughs> what? No, no, they used to have a, you know they used to have the dogs go through the school. Nigga, they used to sniff Kayla out all the time. <laughs> but she would never have a weed. It was because she lived with me. Because her her shit her shit constantly smelled like weed. And then she said about the fifth held time. she down, too? Or did she tell her? No, that? she said about the fifth time they pulled her in the office. They was, she was like, you know my mama smoked weed. Why is y'all keep pulling me in here? I'm not holding, okay? Call her up. <laughs> oh, my God. It ain't me. It's my mama. And you know me. I didn't care. But I just be like, uh, weed legal. Don't be questioning me. Oh, shit. See, I wish I lived down here. I'll pay time. for her to go to school. The fuck? I felt so free when I moved out here because I was like, we is legal. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really. And back in the day, I was, we was just talking. I was telling them back in the day they had weed stores. You could go in in the valley, say, and you could try the weed. You know what I'm saying? They would yeah. have a little, a little spot, give you a little bud. You could go in there and actually try it out. Well, I used to be high leaving the stuff. It's going to be 420, speaking of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I'm look. glad weed is legal because, I mean, when you get pulled over in the car smell like weed, it's just like, get out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the Immediately, next Immediately, you yeah. gone. Uh, oh, it smell marijuana. Get out. Okay. Okay, sir. Why Texas taking so long? They sure do that to a nigga. Gary, hurry up. Like, Y'all the only niggas waiting to legal. Like, now everybody done caught on. California make their own rules with everything. Nigga, I shit legal. <laughs> California <laughs> want that money. Hey, ain't supposed to be casinos. We, we got a loophole. California is so <laughs> overpriced and they don't give us no amenities. This city is trash. Come okay? here. Don't do that to your city. No, girl. I love my city, but if it ain't homeless people on the corner... Nothing is popping out here. Everything. In the expensive neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah. Right. You, you paying 3000 a month for rent. Yeah. And then as soon as you watering your grass, there's a nigga with a tent in front of your house. Like, check this out, bro. She ain't lying, fool. Like, mm-mm, <laughs> mm-mm. No, you ain't lying, fool. But the, the weather and the weed, fool, you can't beat it, really. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know, you know, you got to have some determination in what you want to do in life and come out here. You That's why I came, everything. too. But the point is, this weather and weed, you know what I'm saying, will make you stay. You know what I'm saying? The L.A. Times did a study and said if you want to live in California and get a two-bedroom apartment, you got to make 82000 a year. So you know me and Precious out here trapping. <laughs> okay? You know we is out like, Everything's for sale. Okay? Jeez. Jokes. Say. <laughs> Nigga, room, Titty nigga, picks. nigga, what? Oh, everything, just you what know what I'm saying. What you mean, shit? Cause this shit is crazy out here. Nah, it really is, fool. We gotta figure this shit out. It ain't nothing popping. And Chris, y'all don't even pop no more. You don't even get to the motherfucking low ride. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it ain't nothing no more. They <laughs> like, basically say we want you to do some illegal shit. Just figure out how to do it right. You know. They don't see gang members no more. They all got jobs, nigga. Everybody's working. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, yeah, these yeah. niggas is doing crime at lunchtime. <laughs> 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 You got to work out here. Ah, shout out to Master Your Craft. They sent me this little mask. I be wearing it, y'all, but I have makeup, so then I be fucking it up. You know? But it's cute. It go with the little bit. On the Did, when, 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 when the shout pandemic... Shout out to them. I appreciate y'all. I really do. Keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? She. When the pandemic first hit, did you think people was crazy for investing in the mask? Because I did. I ain't going to lie. Cause I hate it's like I, I just hate when niggas do that. You know what I'm saying? Just like, jump on something. Like like you know uh, uh, how DMX died. Now DMX T-shirts is on Crenshaw Century. Nigga go get a whole bunch of T-shirts and put DMX and then sell them for thirty five dollars. Like I'm just like they uh, well, they wrong for that because that's exploiting him. But I'm saying the mass food like they just said put on some shit protect yourself. Be they just jumped on the hustle quick. And see, I mean like, I, I mean it's smart, but I just remember when motherfuckers was telling me like bitch I'm finna go get some masks. That shit gonna sell out quick, and I'd be like okay. Say. I just feel like it's just like, 
I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, nah, you know? for real, you doubt everything in the beginning. I ain't yeah. think that shit was gonna hit us yeah, like it's this. Been, it's it really been come for a long time. Shit. Yeah, yeah. But it, people did get creative with that shit. Like mm-hmm. this shit, Master Crab Nice. We got our own these hoes mask y'all can get. You know what I'm saying? But that's we what can... I'm saying. Now you really want different kind of masks because you got to wear them every day. Like I really thought it wasn't going to be a market like that. But now, you know, even when I dress up, I want the glitter mask if I'm going out. If I, you know, I want. They had the glow in the dark the sh- ones down there in the teeth. Girl, I had that bitch on at the fight. Nigga, uh. Now I'm colors. addicted, you know? <laughs> then you always forgetting them. I got extra masks in my car and shit. I'm like, shit, I should have made these motherfuckers. For real. If you get enough gas or something, I don't know what I. I be doing at the co- at the at the gas station with this the gas or getting the car wash, but they always hand me that free mask mm-hmm. in that little plastic bag. Mm-hmm. It's like it's the hospital one, but still you keep one in the car. Yeah, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. that shit is crazy. But damn, the point was it was a good thing. <laughs> I mean, it was a good hustle. I mean, you know. But sometimes I just be like, how long you think them Biggie shirts gonna sell? Like you know what I'm, I'm saying? Dead. Like like I'm nigga, dead. I'm dead. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I Speaking of DMX, what? he passed away. I know. Rest in, you know, shout out to DMX, man. Look, I'm rest, all the stuff you say, rest in peace, shout out. You know. Every time somebody die, I be like, that's young like that, I be like, that's it. Tomorrow I'm finna go straight vegan. I'm gonna run on the treadmill and all that. And then it lasts till like Thursday. And then she and like, then, you know. Fuck it, life is yeah. what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. We exactly. all taking that walk. Yeah, I could get hit by a car exercising. Shit. Like it's just <laughs> <laughs> nah. Like I don't know but what to is. do. Like like you know you know I you want to do everything uh-huh. right to live long, but then sometimes I know crackheads living longer than motherfuckers that Hell you know. Yeah, they do everything. Like mm-hmm. your time gonna be your time, man. So we just gotta enjoy. It. Enjoy. Yeah, try to enjoy and do you know make your little impact on this world because. One thing for sure, we gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I know that got dark, <laughs> but no, I'm just saying I hate it. But it just it keeps being somebody. Yeah, and then I they know. get they keep being younger and younger. Like, dang. Yeah, comedian dang. just passed away. Uh, Blue, shout out to him. We used to do podcasts with him. Blue too. Mitchell, single yeah. too. Like Blue, good guy, you know. Mm-hmm. And then you know, speak, all these people. Yeah, it's, it's, a like a, it's a trip. It's a trip. It's a trip. It's a trip. And then even the guy who just got. Kill with Dante. And it's always right. the good people. It's always the good people. Not dog. being fucked up, but and it's then, never a motherfucker you don't care about. It's always somebody you care about. And everybody got somebody to care about them. But now nah, it's like this shit's still going on, dog. With all the protesting and the change of the presidents and the woofy woof this and dog, it's still going on. Yeah. You thought that was your taser? You thought your gun was a taser and you killed that man, that boy? That young man, like yeah. I saw where Teddy put up a post like a, a taser weigh eight ounces. Eight ounces. Have you ever had a seven? <laughs> I know. It's, it's that. It's, uh, it's, yeah. you know, it's not much. Yeah, it's not. It's not. I don't know. I just don't. I Look, I do not know. I just don't know. Is it going to be a change? Why are people quiet? Like, where are all these people who was caring before? Like, I don't know. We so peaceful and then, you know, everybody say that's how we supposed to be, but I feel like I don't know. That's all we ever have been, and they don't give a fuck. Now I'm feeling like, I mean, I don't know. All I know is they going to kill the wrong nigga son. That's all I know. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody is going to not be able to just Sit take back. that shit. Yeah, you they know like, what I'm saying? Like, not just say they won't, like, and that's what we was talking about, too. Me and Camille was just on the phone. Like, somebody going to have to really pop out, fool. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. We just gonna have to take it, man. We took it a long time ago. She and then are we gonna get a fair trial like these police? Like I can't believe they did a trial. It's just like Rodney King. Like people don't know history of peace itself. When we was watching when they was watching that George Floyd shit, and everybody like, we can't believe that we're just watching. They're having a trial on somebody that was uh, obviously guilty. We saw the tape, nigga. They seen Rodney King get his ass Be- whooped, and they said not guilty with a straight face, like. And I think all of America, I think all of Black America was like, "What?" I mean, that was the one time we came together, yeah. like literally like, at the same enough. time. Everybody yeah. went outside and start burning shit. Say, y'all not- went up. I wasn't married, <laughs> but y'all went up. Say, I remember watching this shit. Like, God, no, dang. it wasn't no meeting or nothing. Like that shit enraged us so bad because all of them got not guilty. Like, you do not need to hit nobody that many times. It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, It's so crazy. So, yeah. This shit is. We need to turn up like that again all over the world. No, it, for real. Because you know what? Once you lose it, it ain't really nothing to say. <laughs> and people deserve that shit, too. Like, we never got our lead back. Y'all just 
man sake, I just did that in a million more things and then tried to be mad over OJ. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it was about time, boy. We was like, <laughs> but look, OJ, for OJ to get free, look how, look look at the dream team he had to have. He did. Have, he had to get up. They don't oh. play with our asses when it comes to court. Don't think we can fight some shit. He went to the Olympics with the team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me get me an Olympics. <laughs> I want Flo Jo. I want. I, I want. Have, <laughs> have, <laughs> Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis. Flo. Oh, uh, my fucking. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, That's hilarious. No, for real. Dominique Dahl. <laughs> Nigga. All them niggas. Fool, for real. And everybody dropped. His whole, everybody that freed him dropped but him. Dang. Like. <laughs> they came out. Dang. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Johnny oh, Cochran was that nigga, boy. Anyway, Johnny didn't play. No, nah, they said he he didn't let so many black men go. We they didn't like, not like that nigga. We like, were watching the trial in class, boy. My teacher wanted to see that. Shout out to Miss Craft. She's still alive. <laughs> we were watching that in class. I was, in, I was young, middle school. <laughs> like, she didn't give a damn. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. What we oh got, boo? Okay, on? so... <laughs> This episode is brought to you by another one of our sponsors, okay. and it's called Sesh. Sesh Therapy. Sesh What's up, guys? Therapy. Yes. Sesh Therapy. It's online therapy in which all of us need. I feel like the whole world is dealing with something inside that they don't want to talk about. And um, this type of therapy has group support. Um, they offer a safe space where you can connect with other people in similar situations. All led by expert therapists. Good, um, good, good. Seth is leading mental health. Um, is the leading mental health app accessible support group facilitated by diverse licensed therapists who are experts in their field. Um, it's each ses each ses session is sixty minutes online. So um, and it's usually about fourteen participants. So it's not that big. You nice know, little group, nice little small group. Nice little small group. Win, you know. And they have all different types of groups. Like if you want to do black or Latino or LGBT or whatever community you identify with, they have everything. And it's um, only $60 per month for unlimited group sessions. That's good. That's real good. $60 and you could call them any. Like, y'all better up and y'all price. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. 60 to no, but that's great. $60 for unlimited calls. So. Um, it's recommended by top psychologists, and we recommend it too. It's been featured in Oprah Magazine and here on On These Hoes Podcast. Yes. So each new user receives a free two-week trial. Take the first step and go to seshtherapy.com today or download the Sesh app in the App Store. Again, that is seshtherapy.com. Sesh is mental health care made easy, and we thank them for sponsoring this podcast. Shout out to Sesh Therapy, y'all. Hey. And we do need it, Chid. Your friend's going to talk about you. Go to somebody you don't know, you know. No, I, oh, I said no, the next like... dude that <laughs> date me and want to come on my couch, he's going to sit on another couch. Uh. What your mama do to you? <laughs> Why? No. <laughs> <laughs> How many nights Not she left real. you at home? <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. I be saying that like you just don't know, but you know something, you know. Like, you know, you can just tell by how families all that close. Like, what happened with y'all, fool? Like, nah, you can tell. I be yeah. thinking that about my dad and them. Like, what happened with y'all in the family? Y'all look some cold. Even when you like, raise right, you ain't raised right. So you know when people raise wrong. <laughs> yeah, you can tell you something. Like, do, 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 do. That music come on. Shit. Nah, for real. But shout out to Sage Therapy. Um, We gonna get into our next part. Uh, and this is called KKK. I know y'all like, what? Uh -uh, what? Uh -uh, uh -uh. KKK. Yes. Kamira kicking knowledge. Oh, these hoes. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought it was a racist shit, nigga. <laughs> you are crazy. K -K -K. No, Kamira kicking knowledge. Because what y'all don't know is Kamira is real smart. She always know the history about some shit. She always going to give you some real facts. So, what's going on today? <laughs> what you got for the people? No, we were just talking about, we were talking about disenfranchising, like how... Um, Atlanta changed the voting measures and stuff like that. So me and Precious was just having a conversation. And she was just like, can you believe they trying to change that voting shit in Georgia? And to I was suppress, like, yeah. To suppress the black vote, y'all. Yeah. This is an issue. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, you know. I said, absolutely. I was like, I said, this is why they make history boring so we don't fucking pay attention to it. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Making us learn about that bullshit. But yeah. history always repeats itself. Hmm. You know, America will find a way to you know, disenfranchise and support their best interests. And that's just how it is. Like, you know. Yeah, and you doing that in Atlanta. Y'all know that's where Tyler Perry set up shop. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And got his big, 
you know, fortress. We're bringing in a lot of money for us, by us, you know. So you you just never know. But I do know they said Will Smith, he moved his project. No, what, he, took, he took his project from Atlanta. No, what pissed what him off was that Stacey Abrams getting in that position because Georgia was always a Republican state. Huh. And they turned that shit all the way around. And see, you know, they already got the shit rigged with the electoral shit or whatever, so... We always win the popular vote, but we don't win the popular vote because of the electoral shit, right? So now if we're if we're controlling the whole state, that electoral shit don't matter neither. So now all all the twists and turns that they didn't put in the game, not you know, work. It's, yeah, it's not it working. It won't work. Yeah. So now they doing this or whatever, but they did that when they when they freed the slaves. You know, they, there was never jails before slavery. You just got hung. The sheriff it was a sheriff. Cut your you know, hand you got off. hung. Yeah, yeah shit, you got hung or whatever, but. When this, um, when they freed the slaves, they started making their first jails and anything. Because they like, we people, still got to keep y'all down some yeah, kind of way. Yeah. So we'll just put you in a cage. Like They'll a put you animal. in jail for curfew. Black people had a curfew, 7 p.m. You out at 7.03, you in jail. Like, it was just, it's, it's all, it's I crazy. I remember that back in the day, too, where they like, y'all got to be in the house by mm-hmm. 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. How y'all going to give us a curfew? Mama said, fuck you. Even <laughs> when we start making money, just think about all the, all the, how they twist us. Remember the dude that made Super Soaker? They twisted him. Even when we make money, look at all the singers and all the, all the great, all the greats of the great and how they didn't have, they died broke. You know what I'm saying? Billy, like the movie Billie Holiday. And like, look what they did to her for singing Man, about what sorry. they was doing. Have y'all seen that? Watch so, Billie Holiday. That was so good, y'all. Yeah. I mean, it just showed how. Huh, how strong she we are, you know? And, like, you're supposed to have freedom of speech, but if she sing this song, they going to come get her. Like, they marched in there like it was a riot off. Like, it was a fight. It wasn't no fight. It's a woman just singing but the lyrics. how you going to be too. mad that I'm singing about what you're doing? Huh. It's like, like, what? Yeah. Like, like. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Like, stop it, man. How dare you talk <laughs> about you what ashamed, I'm doing? stop it. <laughs> How dare you talk about she what telling I'm everybody we hanging niggas. Well, stop it. No, we can't do that. Tell that bitch shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you serious right now? Nah, are for you real. Serious? And then to use, uh, use your own people against you. That's where it just throw you off. It's like. And then when I see all these movies, like about um, the the women that did the math for the astronauts and shit like that. Oh, Why yeah. we don't learn about that? We learned about the first nigga to go to, to the moon. Yeah, but none of the background behind it. Like, they never teach us about yeah. ourselves. That's the stuff, because they know that would have us like, too we, powerful. We, we, know we, think we, we learned about now. Neil Armstrong. Like, he, he wasn't nobody but a nigga that would ride in a rocket. Yeah, exactly. No, he was brave enough to ride in a rocket. That nigga didn't have no rocket. I mean, he was the nigga that was in the Army that said, I'll ride in a rocket. The nigga yeah. didn't do nothing. The we rocket need, drive we itself. We need full yeah. black schools. We need schools that really teach us, like... For us by us schools, like for real. So we really know our history and the impact that we've had because mm-hmm. we know we strong. That's why we already come off so aggressive with people and just shit. Our, our self esteem high. We don't even know what we learning in here, but we know we're gonna beat you on it. Shit, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> yeah. I'll pass that. Whatever. We just competitive in spirit. Anyway, it's time to get to the um uh, light the candle for us. Far. Yeah. Right. Uh, predict that shit, P. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, nah, but you gotta out watch out America. Place, they place. like a, a a a baby daddy that put turn around the shit on you. For real, Ooh. you made me cheat. You still want me? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Sure. We still want our forty acres. I tell you that. Let no, like yeah, no, like how they made y'all. everybody scared of us, but they captured us. I'm putting a card for the men first, y'all. Then one for the women, okay? Because I just brought these Afro goddess cards for the women, so I was gonna put one for them. Are we gonna be politically correct for the men? Are we going to... But I was just trying to... <laughs> we got to find out. A car for people who identify with... Um, no, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm playing out. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's stop, God damn it. Stop. Oh, my God. She Look, y'all. Yeah, oh, God damn it. Uh, that's how I stand. We could, pull I know. What do we, we could. She, whatever. Pull a car if you don't know who the fuck you is right here. No, I'm just playing. Oh, my no, God. It, I'm God. playing. She I'm don't playing, mean I'm she don't mean it. Yes, joking. I did. We're just Remember joking. on thin line? <laughs> Bobby Brown was talking to girl. Hey, like, hey when I watched yes, thin I line when I was a kid, I, love I was like, line. that bitch is crazy. But when I rewatched it as an adult, I was like, get that bitch. I mean, get that nigga. Get him. (laughs) Lying to you, talking about he love you and shit. Knowing he with that other bitch. He said, I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I was with her, but as a kid, I thought she was really crazy. But as a grown woman, I felt that bitch spirit. Now you are right. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. I I like Mm -hmm. when they in the bar having that little conversation after the club. Baby. Oh, 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 oh. (laughs) I like when she get into it with his mama. That's me with every nigga mama. Oh, dad. Oh, mama's boy. <laughs> you better get away. Yeah, she was heated. One for the dude. People be mad you arguing with their mama. Nigga, you live with her. It ain't my fault. <laughs> you stupid. 
stupid. It ain't my fault you ain't got your own place. You're I don't stupid. mean to argue with this lady. <laughs> oh, Move, shit. nigga. I'm just playing. You dumb. <laughs> you live with Niggas be wanting to make it seem like you crazy because you arguing with their mama. Nigga, move. You live there. Tell the whole story. And you lying to your mama too, sir. Right. You be lying to your mama, fool. Tell the whole story. All right, one court. This is for the dudes. Five of ones, y'all. It look like some conflict. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I wanted it to be so positive and good, but this is conflict. You know, this is a dang. Can't zoom in on the fool. Can't, y'all. Just how we got it good. I don't know. Anyway, it's okay. It's you okay. can see, yeah, from back there you can see if you yeah. just in on your on your own screen at home. Um, <laughs> nigga, no, but it look like people just gonna be coming at you for some shit. Ain't nobody really gonna whoop your ass though. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be some arguments and some disagreements because. I don't All know. your bills at once? Yeah, some shit like that. All your bills at once. It's like the beginning of the month, nigga. Ugh, I hate mm-hmm. that. I be mad at everybody, and everybody didn't do it to me, you know? But, say, they gonna, they gonna talk their shit. It even got the crow sign over the back, over the top, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be some smoke in the city. But just know you gonna make it out alive, you know? And, and this is a warning, too. If this happen, happen to you, and it's gonna happen, then be prepared for it so you don't react wrong, you know? Don't swing on nobody. Oh, did you hear me? That's that 40 shit. Look, I'm just, yeah, gassing and shit. Uh, No, it's because I turned 40. That's what what happened. I thought I heard a burp, but I didn't see you do no. It just came up. I don't just burp like that. (laughs) She just making up shit. 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 You turn 40 and you get gastrointestinal problems and shit. This is ridiculous. (laughs) She done diagnosed herself with it. I should have pulled one more for them so it didn't end on a bad note. But we got to get on because, you know. We on a time schedule. Shit. Well, you know, men be playing games. All your baby mamas is going to want they shit at the same Ooh, time. Or if if you playing games, they finna all yeah. catch up to you. Yeah. It's like, it look like yeah. a bunch of them around you at once. Like, mm-hmm. I, nigga. All they tennis shoes going to wear it at the same time. Oh, Just pay shit. them bitches. <laughs> and <laughs> remember when you was doing all that messing around. <laughs> how fun it was. Just. Oh, my God. Okay, you find the page when I pull it. I'm telling it. you. This for the women, y'all. Afro goddess tarot. One card, okay? Men be complaining about child support. I wish I could have paid child support. This is my favorite. Um, this is my favorite. Don't do it, nigga. It'd have been on time. (laughs) (laughs) This is my favorite shit right here. Baby daddy would have been happy. (laughs) You want some football tickets? (laughs) No, 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 stop bullshit. You know I'm gonna no stop. No. What's the um? Let me see. One card for the women. One card for the women. Okay. Which one we reading? Shit. Just one. Just one. Okay. Three. Mm, mm, mm. One card for you pulled out a pretty deck for the women. We I did the Afro goddess shit. tarot. The yeah, it matched the background, the thing, everything. <laughs> That's hoes, pretty. What is right? it? I'm gonna see if I can read today. The chariot. The chariot. The chariot. Okay. You see, you got that iridescent light. She gonna give me too. the shit with a lot of words. Okay. Read it good. The chariot. The chariot, child. <laughs> it's all about pulling together what seems like two impossible and desperate situations. The goddess of the chariot is regal. She is a beacon of self-control, discipline, confidence, perseverance, and strength. She has placed herself in the driver's seat and is using the balance of emotion and logic to navigate the situation to success. Hmm. Her use of physical reins are not required. She will move to a place of victory all because of her calm, level-headedness, and mental preparation. The chariot card may indicate a time in which you may need to be courageous and master your emotions. You will need to control opposing situations and mental clarity, and mental clarity will be vital for you to do so. The moon invites you to stand and use your instincts and intuition in tandem with the wand of your willpower and resolving skills. You heard me hit that whole tandem? Yep, tandem. Mm-hmm, that was a big word. Wand of your revolving big, small. skills. Balance oh, will be a key element in your <laughs> foreshadowed success. 40. It's... <laughs> In oh, its reverse, the chariot card may indicate a lack of clarity reverse. in the situation. But it's not reverse. Oh, it's not it's in reverse. Okay, so I'll read that so part. So the point is, you're moving into some good shit, okay? Mm-hmm. And you know how to do it. You don't even have to fight, even though you got that wand in your hand in case you need to. You are standing there regal, royal, ready for the shit. You're using your brain, your logic to move into your new shit. But you on that chariot, so you moving. And you see the things down here looking like the Ramsey things, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, Egypt and shit. You are in your blackness. You are standing there. If you're not black, you're in your whateverness. You know what I'm saying? Hispanicness. And that's good. Ah. Moving, moving, moving hey, not on the motion. Egypt. Mental moves. Playing chess. Yes. Chess, not checkers. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm going to say spades. I don't know how to play chess or checkers. <laughs> I'm moving like a... 
Like I'm moving fast. I don't know they say now. that, but you know, checkers is a mental shit. You know, I don't know. Fuck it. Anyway, stay focused, queens. Move forward. You know what I'm saying? These hoes can't hold you back. Mm-hmm. Or these kids. <laughs> <laughs> For real, for real. <laughs> so we are so happy to be back. We missed y'all. We really did. Make um, sure y'all continue to support us. Wait, we need our we numbers still up. Going. We gotta still go. We got a letter. Oh, I didn't know we was. Oh, I thought because you was when you was rushing. I thought we was. Um, because I think we didn't technically. Look, we trying to keep our time. <laughs> I don't think we technically started until. I think we can still get our letter in, right? Yeah. We, we can because okay, it's our okay, show. Okay. We can do what we want. <laughs> <laughs> it's our show, but nigga, we trying to make that time, bitch. But you know, for real. Nah, let me see. Here, oh, let me get to the right one. Uh, I just cannot. It, it kills me that. I mean, it don't kill me, but I just love that people really, you know, really write us letters. Like, these don't be fake letters. I know. Like, most to people email to find. Woo, do fake letters. That's a novel. Wait a minute. We're going to do you next week, okay? Let's see. Let's find another one. We probably need to start okay, summarizing one. one. Okay. Woo. Revamp. Okay, this one is. Uh, I'm glad I read the goddess card. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> she childish them out. Okay, I'm gonna read fast, y'all. Listen. <clears throat> and they said, "Hey guys, I love the show. I'm Dukes. You can say my name." Okay, Dukes. Dukes. Okay, I'm writing because I need help with my whole friend. <laughs> I met my uh, BFF back in college slash culinary school over ten years ago when we found out we were smashing the same dude. We actually decided we were more fun to hang out with than the dude, so we just started being on whole shit together. What a nice story. Now I'm just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fast forward over 10 years later, we still friends. We're mothers now, and she's my child's guy mom, and I'm hers. We have successful careers in the culinary industry and support each other in branching out to do other things. But she's still on the same old whole shit. Mm. Now, I'm not saying stop the whole shit and hoe is not life because it is hoe. Because it is. Hoe is definitely life. But I feel like we've grown and it's time to modify our hoe shit. I mean, we are mothers now and we in our 30s. We don't even have the same needs that we had in college. I'm not saying we was proud side chicks, but we definitely used to be on that. Mm. I feel you. I take <laughs> I take your man and you the nine to five. <laughs> you the nine to five. I keep them satisfied. Okay, I fucked oh that up. The wiki. She like in other cliche songs that hoes would sing to signify that, you know, we don't need niggas for nothing but sex. But now I feel like, yes, yeah, ho is life, but we got to change our ways a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You got to change with the times. She still got eyes for every dude, her eyes on every dude and not caring about the situation or consequences that come with it. Nobody got money for plan B's every weekend. We got kids. Ain't nobody got time to keep you in the Vaseline on deck to fight a new baby mama every week. I got little league practices to go to. Oh, These old hoe ways are starting to spill over into our work lives. So how do I tell my friend it's time to modify our hoism but still play the game? How would, could, or should we revamp our whole life to adapt to the times? Thank you so much. Love an old ho, a.k.a. Chef Dukes. Mm. Um. Woo. Okay, Chef Dukes, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing worse than, you know what I'm saying, seeing somebody who is clearly old still, like, trying to be 19, 20. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you are who you are at the core, you know? <laughs> and... You know, even though you've elevated, that don't mean that she going to necessarily elevate with you. And, you know, you still an old hoe, so you just got rules to your whole shit. And she's still just like, whatever. You just, you got to kind of live your life, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you go out, if you out with her, you got to know it. Be prepared that it might be some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Prepare for that. Otherwise, remove yourself from the situation. You don't have to be around everything and everybody. They can still be your people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can still be your yeah. guy, Chash. Invite her to the birthday parties and the shit where you know it ain't going to be no drama and shit. Let her go out with her new friends or other people if yeah. that ain't what you want. I don't yeah. know. What you think? Um, I think 30 uh, is kind of young to stop being old. I was like, <laughs> 30? Like, I was like, we, she's like, we 30? I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that was just after 20. <laughs> you still young. Wait. Uh, you can um, hold for another 15 yeah, at um, least. For you sure. Know yeah. Are um, y'all, what color are y'all? 
But I think maybe your friends should start being more selective. Like, you can't like everybody. So at a certain age, you stop being so, so messy. Like, you know, like when I was young, I might mess with a dude who just had a baby. <laughs> like now, I, I'm not messing with niggas who got kids under 10. <laughs> because, you know, it's still, you, you still got to talk to the mom. All the time. Like, so, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, just you got to you gotta limit your shit. And is is she showing the daughter or is she hoeing, like, behind closed doors now? She bringing men home and shit. Yeah, she need an intervention. But have you talked to her, too? Like, have you just told her, like, girl, you ain't tired? Like, girl, I'm tired, shit. Like, these kids worry me. I know when we ain't had no kids, we could just hit it all the time. But I'm, nigga. I'm tired and I ain't got no kids. <laughs> like, nigga, I be yeah. tired. And it's a difference between a bad hoe and a good hoe. Because when your homegirl a good hoe, it's cool. But when she a bad hoe, when motherfuckers... And that's and what I'm saying. reflecting on you. It is when a difference. bitch is just a... It is a difference. Because, you know, you cannot fuck... You cannot be a hoe. Ho, you know, it depends on how you look at it. You looking like hoes just fucking everybody or yeah. hoes chilling. Because I done went home. I'm chilling. I ain't no hoe. But if you, I meet somebody, I'm only at home for a couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? Then I might have to fuck. But that's what I'm saying. Like, like, you know, do that you make just, me a hoe or did I feel something? Special? Yeah, no, but are you just like, you know, you know, some people just sloppy. Just, yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's different shit. Well, you think he likes the shit? Yeah, man, this shit out here be. I had a friend like that. As soon as she got drunk, it's like, here she go. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm leaving. Like, you know what I'm you saying? You know how Drake on that song and talking about it and that dick feel better when you drunk, right? He ain't lying. <laughs> like,. When all that stuff was coming out about don't leave your friend, if she drunk, you know, help your friends, I feel all of that. But, but some bitches... They get too out of control with it. It's like, you know what? Go go ahead and get abducted. It's <laughs> like, you, I am sick of you. Okay? You do this shit every time we come. Where's your shoe? Where's your shoe? You know what? I hate this bitch. Go on, go on with him that right you just off. met. Oh, my God. I ain't writing his license plate never dead. I'm sick of this bitch. Like, Man, but like, you know you know people, mamas and shit, so you, but I used to have to fight one of my homegirls. Like, you don't know him. You know, it's vodka. Yeah. Like. And yeah. You can't just let her go. But then the nigga grown. be mad at you. Yeah, like you a hater on the side. Mm, stop blocking her. I don't want this bitch pussy. You probably wouldn't want it either if I get into it. But. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm dead. Yeah. But no. You know, sometimes people just change, you know. I'm, you know, we not like all our friends. You know, I think when we first growing up, we think everybody got to be like each other to be able yeah. to be cool. You know, like, you got to be just like me. I got to be just like you. We got to think alike, everything or else. Fuck you, you know. That's true. But now it's like, you. I think when you really grow, you know, the childish people still be like, fuck you, you ain't just like me. But when you grown, you can understand that you different. I ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? But we still cool. I ain't better than you. You ain't better than me. But <laughs> we just move different. Yeah. Like, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But yeah. if she fighting, you ain't got to fight. Like, that's, I'm not. Uh, my friend's going to fight. <laughs> that bitch, my friend just had if a fight. If you keep fighting niggas, baby mamas, <laughs> I'm not jumping in now. If it's a real fight. Oh, okay, yeah. A bitch disrespecting you or something. But if you keep fucking this nigga and fighting this baby mama, that's y'all. Between y'all. But are you telling my friend, friend it, no, we can't just be randomly. I tell her before we even go somewhere, I'm not fighting free. <laughs> no, for <laughs> like, real. You got to reward some of your free because I'm not doing, I'm fighting on my family at this point. Like, I'm too old, fool. It got to be some family. I'm not going out and just like, she was looking at me. <laughs> you know, Yeah, like, I don't do that either. Yeah, say, yeah, fool, look yeah. at me. Talk your shit. I don't give a fuck, fool. <laughs> like, yeah. Facts. You ain't, don't just don't put your hands on me, nigga. Anyway, um, we hope that it works out with you and your friend, okay? Don't let her go. Keep your guy kids, keep her whoop to whoop, you know, live life, okay? We different. And y'all make sure we ain't gonna do the dick pic this week. <laughs> <laughs> In case couples watching. We be seeing the comments right like me and my wife watching not the work and whoop to whoop. So We'll say that. But next time, we're going to tell all the men to get off. <laughs> yeah, it's, women, it's women's time. And we're going to show that thing thing because we have been receiving y'all stuff in the email. So if you would like to send us your dick flicks, your little videos, or your pics on these hoes at gmail.com, as well as, um, you know, if y'all want to send us something. Or and just, the DM. Y'all don't listen. Y'all don't send it to the Y'all send it wherever the fuck y'all want. Right in the bitch DM. And send the letters because these hoes going to help you. We you are. You know what I'm saying? We're going to give you the best advice we can. Hey. So thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate our sponsors. Make sure y'all check out uh, Raycon Wireless Earbuds as well as Sesh Therapy. Yes. And tune in on these hoes every week. Listen on Apple or watch whatever makes you feel good. You know what I'm saying? On hey, these hoes. On these hoes. See y'all next week. No, we gon' keep it big. On these hoes. On these hoes. On these hoes.